It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave, so I wonder. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have to know. Say. Hello, internet friends. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Michiwi, and I'm on a weight loss journey. If you're not new here, then you know that this month is Vlogmas. And I promised to bring you guys a video every single day, and I did not fulfill that. I got sick. I am still a bit sick. I thought it was seasickness at first. I thought it was a little weird that I was getting seasick, even though I'd never experienced it before. Uh, turns out it wasn't that. It was the flu, I think. Just having a, a little bit of a hard time with illness. So I think what I should have said was that I would try <laughs> to bring you a video every day. I know that my viewers are super forgiving and understanding that things happen, so I'm not going to beat myself up too bad. But I still want to just say sorry for not fulfilling a promise and making promises I couldn't keep. That being said, this video is probably going to be a short one. I just want to come in here and cover some things that you could possibly eat if you are also experiencing a stomach flu. Some nutritious and delicious options that are going to be easy on your stomach. Also, I'm going to recommend some channels that you guys may want to watch when I'm not around. And then I'm going to probably finish up with some yoga today. Still not feeling up to the treadmill, but I have laid around for two days. I want to get my body back to getting used to getting its movement. And I want to give it a little bit of a stretch because laying around for two days has made me sore. So I think yoga is going to be a good exercise routine to kind of ease me back into it while loosening up some sore joints. So first things first, the various obvious choice for your stomach when you're sick, soup broths. So with all of this, you're going to want to check your uh, nutrition labels, but with the right chicken broth, you can get hydration and some protein. And for a lighter option, vegetable broth. It will add some nutrients from the vegetables. For a simple carbohydrate, plain toast. It's easy to digest and it can help settle your stomach. Also, old fashioned oats are one of my favorite things to do when I am not feeling that great and white sweet potatoes. With the oats and sweet potato, I recommend eating them in small amounts to avoid overwhelming your stomach. Hydrating foods such as watermelon and cucumber are also great options that add some additional nutrients while hydrating. And bananas can be gentle on the stomach and have potassium, which can help electrolyte balance. And yes, your electrolytes are very important when you're sick. Applesauce is another great option read those nutrition labels. If it's not too high in sugar, it's a great way to have something that's easy to digest while also including fiber and some vitamins. There's also rice porridge. Rice porridge can be eaten savory with some chicken broth and an egg or sweet with some pureed apple slices. And yes, apples are also great for some nutrients and some fiber. Also boiled carrots or steamed. And again, the sweet potato boiled or steamed, soft, easy to digest and don't require butter or milk. Honestly, anything that you can mash up at this point is probably going to be easy on your stomach. There's also ginger tea that can help with nausea and chamomile tea is soothing and can help with relaxation and sleep. And we all know sleep is very important when sick. I have been doing a lot of it. And plain yogurt, if dairy is not an issue for you at this point, provides probiotics which can help with gut health. For hydration, I've been sticking to things with electrolytes in them, such as watered down sports drinks, there's also the option of coconut milk. It provides natural electrolytes without too much sugar. And with all these suggestions, I would say stick to small frequent meals, stay hydrated, avoid dairy and caffeine. And yeah, if I am not having my morning coffee, just know that I am knock, knock, knocking on death's door. Just joking, but in all seriousness, if I'm not having my morning coffee, know that something is up. And last but not least, rest and listen to your body. We've all gone through a pandemic. We know that it is important to take care of ourselves while we are sick. And there is something going around. I've seen a lot of people be sick lately. So, you know, keep that hand sanitizer ready. Make sure you're getting your full eight hours. Take some emergency 
and vitamin D, and hopefully you won't catch this. If you do catch it, and fingers crossed you don't, I've got some videos for you guys to watch. So the first channel is Haley Whipjack. She makes very long videos about things that don't really matter, but it's nice to watch because she's engaging, she's funny, she goes into great detail, and she's very good at making sure that nonsensical information is put in an easy way to understand while still staying engaged for five hours. I am now a Shrek expert. Did I need to be? I guess so. I just really enjoy her. She's got a great personality. Most of the things I recommend are based on personality and editing choices and like flow of the video. And in all honesty, not having to find a new video while I'm sick and needing to listen to something in the background for five hours was really great. Minimal ads in it, so I would definitely watch it. She does a whole series on um, Once Upon a Time, the TV series. She breaks down each season. It's very fun. Are they anything super important? No, but that's kind of the fun of it. So I would watch that if you were into long format videos and just want something a little fun. Next is Jules Dapper. She covers, I'd say, kind of oddities sort of thing. She goes into horror movies, books that I would never recommend you guys read. They are horrific, but I still had fun listening about them, even though I was a little scarred from it. She also goes into weird history, and she does great makeup. She's a lot of fun to watch as well. I think she's got a great sense of humor from what I can tell. And I'd say pretty much anyone I'm going to recommend has a good sense of humor, because that's kind of pivotal for my enjoyment of watching videos. Again, I do not recommend you watch or read anything that she reviews. But speaking of reviews, and something I will recommend, Scamboli Reviews. This guy never leads me wrong when it comes to anime. He goes very in-depth with a lot of heart. Like, he watches these videos, he feels what he is conveying, and he's never steered me wrong on any of his recommendations. And the only critique I have of his is that I want more. I have found plenty of good animes through this guy. So if you're an anime fan, check out his reviews. I think, I think they're really good. Now, if you're into crafting, I've got two channels for you. First one is Cat Melon Studios. She remakes Monster High dolls into beautiful works of art. She is continually improving on her techniques. I love her commentary during it. Her voice is soothing and I did binge watch a whole bunch of her videos because it is that good. And I am not a Monster High doll remake kind of girl. I, I honestly have looked at other videos and I couldn't find any that I wanted to watch. I just really enjoy her process, her artwork, her finished pieces, and her commentary throughout the whole thing. So that's the first DIY one. The second one is Nerd Forge. So in my playlist I have saved, I built a PC that makes coffee and uh, what could be more perfect of a title for me. She has combined my two favorite things and put them on her workstation table. Coffee and PCs. She also made a coffee maker Disneyland castle. I'd say she makes unbelievable, fantastical, functional artwork. Her skills are insane. From the concept to like the CAD viewer, the various tools and execution, all I can say is that she is badass. I could never do anything, but it is what I would consider DIY. And if you like that stuff, um, prepare to be humbled because <laughs> it is insane but very interesting and very fun to watch. Speaking of watching, some of you guys watch for my sailing videos, so I'm going to recommend Lady K Sailing. His videos are all about how sailing is not an exclusive sport anymore. You do not have to own a million dollar yacht to be considered a sailor. He reviews different boats, talks about different ways that sailing is affordable for your needs and your circumstances. What options are there for you at your price range? What are your goals? He gives you answers to these questions. He goes in depth on different boats, which ones he would recommend, their price ranges, what they're good for. I enjoy that he makes it known that sailing is not just for the rich and famous like it used to be considered. For Steven and I's needs, we have been able to find a realistic expectation of living on a sailboat. And we keep an eye on his channel to watch out for possibly the best sailboats for us in our price range and our long-term goals. Sorry if the energy is a little down, you guys. I just, I really wanted to not put out a video that was 30 seconds long saying, hey, I'm sick. I still wanted to talk to you guys and give you some tidbits of information. I got two more for you. Some of you guys may know, I love reaction channels. Specifically, ones in the girl, girl world. <laughs> okay, I don't know how people say that. Me being a weight loss channel, I like to see what other channels are out there. 
and the reaction channels let me know what a lot of them are doing wrong and then I try and stay clear of it. So it's kind of like a cheat sheet for me. Oop, I am out of battery. So for a review channel, and I have recommended quite a few of them, or at least reviewed them, I've been having a lot of fun watching Nerfie's videos. Uh, her streams will go on for a long time, so if you want to be live streaming with people for a long time, she's a good option. She comes with receipts, she's very detail oriented, and she knows a lot about nutrition and what she's talking about when it comes to health. So it's not just like, hey, I'm going to review this person for the heck of it and hopefully get a lot of views. She cares what she's talking about. She stays very detail oriented. I really thought she had a background in data analysis because of it. Uh, all of her content isn't just reviewing other channels. She also does crafting. There's anime movie night. And recently she did a let's chat while we watched uh, Red Flag, the Red Flag guy. We watched Red Flag and Green Flag stuff and it was very wholesome, very wholesome. Nice little palette cleanser. Also, the people in the chat aren't just going at and like being mean. There's like a lot of discussion going on in the chat, which I enjoy. And last but not least, uh, I have recommended this channel before. A viewer commented that I should watch more and I did and thank you so much for that because I love it. Uh, it's Caroline Winkler. I'm going to specifically recommend the video called The Only Cleaning Motivation You'll Ever Need. I have this video saved for every time I'm about to make a cleaning video. It's just so much fun. The editing is on point. I love her dry sarcasm. She's very down to earth. I think she's pretty much a comedian making realistic expectation videos. She's a lot of fun. And if you guys want to watch any of this, I do have it saved on my playlist called What I Saw This Week. I don't know if I mentioned this already. We're going to re we're going to re-mention it just in case, but it's a playlist called What I Saw This Week on my channel. I update it constantly. I'm putting more videos in there and every two weeks I'm cleaning out the old ones. So it is new stuff that I'm recommending. I tend to find that sometimes if I follow a channel and they have a playlist like that, uh, I end up watching most of their recommendations. So it's there for you guys if you want it and you need more content, there it is. Ooh, Nerfie's streaming right now actually. <laughs> I might hop on. Uh, I won't, I don't feel great. <laughs> My stomach has been making noises this whole time. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is alerting me to kind of be done with this for now. So the next time you guys see me, I will probably be doing yoga. If not, I'm just gonna say I'll see you tomorrow when I'm feeling better. Bye.